What's going on YouTube fam? Mike here shooting another high adventure video. Guys, I am with my bro today, Gage. You see him in another video when we went catfishing last spring. Dude, that's been almost a year ago. Yeah, holy cow. Holy mackerel. We are out here in the middle of winter. There is a fresh snowfall. Actually, we're expected to get more snow this afternoon. We are hunting big trout. We're after a big piggy. Dude, I don't know if I told you already, but the goal is at least a four pounder. At least a four pounder, rainbow or brown. Those are the two trout we're after. And then of course, we're gonna do a little catch and cook later today. Dude, I'm gonna stop talking, let's get fishing. So what I'm throwing today, guys, is just a little, if I can grab it, rooster tail spinner. And uh, this has got like uh, some really crazy colors in it, actually, kind of like some electric red, uh, some fun colors there. And we're just gonna be basically pitching and flipping into all kinds of little pools and stuff all up and down this river. And hopefully, Hopefully, we'll land us a decent sized fish today. Oh, guys, Gage already caught one. Let's go up and see what he got. What'd you get, bro? Nice little brownie to start the day. Nice, man. Dude, nice wow. fish. That look is at a this pretty red in him. Yeah, look at those colors, man. Nice, but this is your first brownie of the year, right? First fish of the year. Dude, what'd first you get him on? This little uh, silver panther martin, I think, spinner. Little silver panther martin right here. Dude, that's a good looking color. Got one. There we go. I think this is a little rainbow, maybe. No, this is a brownie. Here we go. Hey, I'm on the board with Gage now, if I can get him in. Oh, sweet. Fish number one on the day. Probably about 10, 11 inches, but some pretty colors on that fish. We'll let her back in the water there. Nice, nice way to start the day. Not the piggy we're after, but it's a good start. Nice steady snowfall coming down now. There's one. Nice. Perfect, boom, right in that deep pool. Snow's coming down a little better. Another brownie, gosh, not very big. Why do they feel like they're getting smaller? Another pretty fish, probably about 10 inches or so. That's fish number three for gauge and I, number two for me. Let's see if there are any more down here. Guys, gauge is on another one. What'd you get, bro? Nice. But Yeah, it's about the that's... size of the one I, hey, that's the one I just caught. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty fish though, man. Yeah, it is. And we're moving again. This is right here. Well, this looks pretty foxy. You're pulling up all the, uh, the cover, bro. You're destroying the fishing spot, man. Oh, there's one. Oh yeah, here we go. This is a better brownie. I mean, it's no giganto. There we go. Yeah. Woohoo. Guys, that's a nice, probably 13 inch brown. Oh, it just came out. Oh, you know. Yep, that hook just came out. Good thing I had the net. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a good 13 inch brown trout. Just lit that spinner up. Nice and easy. Guys, Gage has a nice one, dude. Let me grab the net. Oh, here, oh. I don't know what to do. There you go. Bring him up. Nice. Oh my gosh. Dude, there Holy you go. Cow. Dude, nice one. There's a bigger one that we're after. Man, he hooked into it too. Look, he has a sore on his, on his dorsal fin. Oh yeah, he got hit by something. Yeah. Looks like something tried to take a bite out of him. Dude, nice one. What'd you get him on? Let me see that. Nice little brown trout colored spinner. Guys, I'm gonna have a link in the description below to the kinds of spinners we're using. So if you guys wanna hook yourself up, you can get them. Dude, that's a nice Ooh. fish. Let's see how long that bad boy is. Maybe we can weigh him up too. There we go. There we go. Let's get a measure on him. A little over about 17 and a half Holy inches, bro. Cow. 17 here. Do you want to weigh him? Should we try to weigh him? Yeah. Here we go. Let him go. Keep. There we go. Dude. Fifth. Wait. What? 1.5? About a pound in it. A little over. One point. I'm going to say. Wait, wait, wait. It's still going. 1.69 pounds, dude. A little over a pound and a half brownie, dude. That's a nice fish. Wow. 
Way to go, dude. I just caught that one fish we threw on a stringer. The gauge comes in and pulls the bigger fish out, you bum. Yeah, again, look, dude, like you pulled that fish out of, you could tell it's about three, four feet deep over there. This seems like it's a little bit slower moving water. They really, they don't it like, like. right almost underneath that tree. Yeah, but this one yeah. And, and this is what I look for. Yeah. Stuff like this. And I just sit over here and just hammer all the way down. I mean, two fish right out of here. That's awesome. And we've got more bank like this all the way down. Gage okay, just tying on a spoon, a little gold spoon. We're still in hunt for that pig. Oh, come on. And I catch a stick. Ooh, it's like a rose bush. Look at the thorns on that thing. Jeez. Sabotage. Well, guys, Gage just left, so I'm all alone now. It's been a good hour, hour and a half maybe since my last fish, since either of our last fish, so I'm kind of on a dry spell. We're gonna keep fishing a little more, see if we can't pluck one or two more out of this river. Then we're gonna get up cooking, um, cause I'm starting to get hungry. I'm starting to see some snow clouds moving in. In fact, beyond there in the mountains, looks like it's starting to snow, so it'll probably start coming down and hitting us soon, but let's see if we can't get one more fish. Got him. Oh, he smacked it. There we go. Oh, here we go. Nice. Come on, baby. Redemption. Redemption right here. Not a big fish, but that is a fish. Woo -hoo. There we go. Look at that. Not big by any means, but I'll take it, man. I'll take it. All right, so we finally got a fish after like an hour and a half of nothing. Snow is starting to come down around me though. I knew this was coming, so let's go ahead and get cooking. Let me show you what kind of recipe we're gonna be using today. There we go. Well guys, day two unintentionally why day two because i was trying to get set up to show you guys this sweet fish soup and then it started snowing even harder the wind started picking up and everything basically just went down here really fast so we're gonna go get us a fish and then and then fingers crossed we'll be able to cook one of these bad boys up and i'll show you guys this pretty sweet soup recipe so let's get back to the action come on baby I know you're in there, and I know you're hungry. Oh, got one. Oh, guys, this is a big one. Oh, dude, it's pounding its head. Oh, guys, we are on a fish. Oh, yes. Oh, dude, it felt like a snag when it first smacked it. Oh, this is a big old brownie, guys. I'm gonna walk down to it. This is a piggy. This is a piggy. Oh, it's been a minute since I've caught one about this size. Okay, it's been like a week and a half. <gasps> yeah. Oh, look at that fish, guys. That is a beauty. Oh my goodness. Not a bad way to start the day, guys. Look at that, just absolutely annihilated that little spinner. Again, I got a link in the description below if you guys wanna get your hands on one of those. Look at that fish, that is beautiful. Guys, I'm pretty confident I could catch more. I don't take a little bit of a gamble, but you know, if you've watched my channel, I don't like keeping fish this size. They're, they're so beautiful and they're such a big size. It's 
just fun to catch. So we're going to let this one go. Let's weigh it up, get a measurement on her, get her back in the water. But man, what a great fight. What a great way to start the day. Let's see, nose, almost tickling 19 inches, tickling 19 inches long. Let's get her weighed up. Here we go. Let's not move at all, lady. 2.11, 2.11 is what she's showing, guys. Here we go, lady. That was a good fight. Boy, when she hit, it just thumped it. <laughs> Man, not bad for the first spot of the day. Not bad at all. Oh, there's one. Oh, guys, a rainbow literally just came up and gobbled it up right here. Right here. Oh, this is awesome. Actually, I would rather have a rainbow trout for cooking because I like to let go of the browns if she'll come this way. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Well, that's a pretty fish. Check that out. It's a good 12, 12 and a half inches long. Literally just came up and smoked it like six feet from me. That was cool. That was really cool. All right, there we go, guys. This is the perfect fish to keep. She actually got hooked up in the under part of her gills right down here pretty well. So she wouldn't even make it if I let her go. So good fish to keep. We'll have something to cook up and we'll be ready to go. Excited to show you guys my recipe today. River's on that side, Micah. Let me show you how we're going to cook this recipe up today. First, I have a pot to cook the soup in. That goes without saying. That is a spoon. Thank you for showing us that, Micah. This is my little portable grill. I'll have a link in the description to that. I love this thing, and it keeps the wind out, and most importantly, it lets me make a fire on the river in a place I would not otherwise be able to make a fire. This is me showing you that the pot goes on top of the grill. Just in case any of you were confused, it doesn't go under the grill. It goes on top. Also have a stash of wood ready for the barbecue. Let me show you what we're going to be putting in this soup today. Onions, golden potato, sage sausage. I got salt and pepper, a little garlic powder, a little Italian seasoning, half and half, and a little chicken stock. And last, but actually this is very least, kale. I don't normally eat kale. I don't ever eat kale, actually, but this is more for a different texture uh, for this soup. Goes well in this particular soup. This is me showing you how to feed the little grill, just in case you didn't know how to make a fire for a grill. You take all these little sticks. Make sure you have plenty um, of sticks actually ready to go because you'll be feeding them in fairly constantly uh, for the grill because it is smaller. So it's not like throwing, you know, big pieces of wood on and you can sit there and, you know, let it burn for 20 or 30 minutes before you need to throw more wood on. Now let's go ahead and get this bad boy lit up. It actually took a quick minute to get this fire going just because everything had had a nice blanket of snow over it the night before. So a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated, but we conquered it, got our little fire going, ready to cook. Now, first things first, we're going to throw the sausage in and cook that down. My sausage, however, in this instance is frozen. So as you can see, I give up pretty quickly on stirring that around. I need to let it uh, cook down a little bit more. Here we go. Fast forward to the sausage actually being cooked down. Now we're going to go ahead and throw our onions in there uh, and stir everything in. I figured you guys didn't want to watch a probably about 15 minute long segment of the sausage slowly cooking down. Frozen sausage slowly cooking down. You're welcome. Garlic powder now going into our sausage and onion mixture. We're going to go ahead and get all that stirred again, except you really can't see that because my fat hand is right in the way. Remind me to switch up the angle on that. Next, the chicken stock is going to get put in with our sausage and onion, and we're going to let all those flavors meld together. Any day now, chicken stock. Nice long pour shot there for everybody who uh, wanted that. Let's speed it up here. There we go. All right, we're done with that. Next, we're going to go ahead and throw our golden potato in. Do not put potatoes in like that. That is a rookie mistake because then they just stick together and you have a dilly of a time trying to separate them after they're in the pot. So put the potatoes in one by one. Next, salt and pepper to taste. Really, it is just to taste. There's no rhyme or reason. Add Italian seasoning as well. You can also add that Italian seasoning when you put the sausage in. And then it kind of infuses itself into that sausage unless you're using Italian sausage. In this case, I was only using sage sausage. Now we're going to go ahead and mix everything together. Like I said, we're going to let it all marinate, ruminate together, build the fire up, add more wood so we can bring it to a nice boil. As you'll see, I believe right here. Oh, not yet, but you can see the steam 
coming off of that soup. Next, we have the half and half in. This is going to add a nice creamy texture to the soup. And it doesn't sound good, I know, but it actually is really delicious. Some of you might recognize this. This is actually a very similar recipe to how they make their Zupa Toscana at Olive Garden, if you frequent uh, the faux Italian restaurant. Stirring all the kale into the soup. Again, this just adds a good color to the soup, if you like green in your soup, and a different texture to the soup as well. Next, we're going to go ahead and add those fish fillets cut up into bite-sized chunks. Those will cook pretty fast, so we can add those towards the end uh, and not have to worry, but they'll still get cooked in there with that boiling soup. This is apparently a scenic shot of the soup. I will now commence to making bubbling soup noises. And finally, a majestic shot of yours truly stirring the soup. Look at that, guys. It's just simmering now. Smells delicious. We're going to go ahead and pull it off of our cooktop, let it cool down, and get to eating. I've got my handy dandy little fork and spoon and knife and like jack of all trades everything tool. Boom. We can actually just pop them apart. I'll have a link in the description below to this bad boy. Look at that right there. Oh man. Look at that right there. I've got fish, sausage, onion, kale, durr, kale, and uh, potatoes all in one bite. Oh man, that is magnificent. That fish just kind of soaks up like that sausage and Italian flavoring, but gives everything just like a nice, a little extra protein, a little meat, a little different texture in there. Oh man, the other thing I love about this is you get full on a soup like this. Oh, look at that. Chunks of sausage, fish, potato, and onion. In the words of Guy, that'll take your taste buds to Flavor Town right there. I really wasn't sure about making fish soup. Fish and soup, to me, don't sound terribly appetizing, but it all depends on how you make your soup because this is 100% delicious. Mm. Mm. YouTube fam, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I will see you in the next one.